can't even speak or move on their own. Yet there's just something about them. The only thing is that I was quite taken by the puppets. Bob Baker's fascination with puppets began as a child. I kept telling all my friends that I wanted puppets for a gift. It wasn't long before Bob started learning the art of puppetry. And now, at 86, that childhood fascination has turned into lifelong devotion. I'm an old man, but I, I, can't, I don't want to believe it. I don't feel old. Due to health problems, doctors advised Bob at the end of last year to stop performing puppet shows. But he continues to work at the theater he co-founded 50 years ago. Oh, I'm trying to, trying to get enough money to keep everything going. Very difficult these days especially. But we're trying and we'll stay there as long as we can. The Bob Baker Marionette Theater has been plagued by financial difficulties. The Los Angeles landmark has come close to shutting its doors more than once, but has been saved by supporters. It's, kind of, it's, it's tough for sure. It's definitely, you know, weeks where everyone's, nobody's happy or whatnot, but you know, everyone understands kind of what the theater's going through. Despite the financial tension, some puppeteers are optimistic things will improve. I, I like to think that we're kind of approaching like a puppet comeback. Um, I, I kind of feel it. I see it in a lot of movies that have come out. And Nicole has worked as a puppeteer at the Bob Baker Theater going on four years now. Everyone loves puppets. They, they always have, you know. It's, it's like an ancient art and I think, I hope it comes back. But the frustrations of the business still even get to seasoned veterans like Bob. I, I, every once in a while I say I've had it. Though that thought doesn't last long. And then all of a sudden something brings me back to puppets. Adults and children go to Bob's theater every year to see that something. And with any luck, those strings will draw people in for another 50 years. This is Jessica Walston reporting.